What is up, people of the world? We are back in my car with another story time video. My dog is just staring at me and she's in front of me and she's just tripping out. <laughs> Anywho, what's up, man? How you been? Hey. I haven't talked to you in a while, man. You, you chilling or what? You doing good? All right. I'm glad to hear that. I'm coming at you guys today with another story time video. Yeah. Today's story is about this one time that I almost got robbed. All right. I forgot to say, if you guys enjoy the video, bro, if you guys enjoy it, if you're feeling, if, you're, if it's touching you right here, bro, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, bro. Seriously, like, like, you haven't, like, it could save my life. Like, like, it could save my life. You know what I mean? All right? <laughs> It is a funny story. I mean, you know, in the situation, it wasn't funny. But looking back at it now, it's a little bit hilarious, right? So, it all started in the summer of 69. What are you talking about, man? Okay. I was about... No, seriously, it was like three... I was a sophomore. It was some years ago. Like, four years ago. Five years ago. And, um, basically, my school had this, like, little group of kids that... They were stupid. So, they were like a bunch... <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That was aggressive, wasn't it? That was aggressive. Okay. They were... <laughs> They lacked intelligence and they were a group of like basically low lives that like they were a gang supposedly. They weren't really a gang, but they would like tell everybody and act like they were a gang, but they were just a bunch of low lives that had nothing better to do. So they'll go around like acting like a gang, basically. And um yeah, it consists like a whole bunch of them. And um long story short, one afternoon I was coming home and uh, I was the type of kid at the time that I was very into like flashy stuff, you know, like I like to stand out and like be super flashy with like jewelry and stuff like that. To the club, like what up, I got a skinny penis. And uh, at the time, I actually had this really nice Gucci backpack, okay? It was fire, bro. Like I had bought it and I just wore it everywhere. I was that douche with like in the mall with a Gucci backpack and nothing inside of it. Like, why is he wearing a backpack with nothing? Like, I can see there's nothing in there. Sorry, this is my phone is going crazy right now. Like, why is he wearing it if there's nothing in there? I was that person, right? Anyways, long story short, I was taking it to school. And keep in mind, my city, like, there's not a lot of people that do that, honestly. It's like, I wouldn't say it's ghetto here, but it's somewhere between, like... We're barely not considered ghetto. You know what I mean? Borderline. Borderline. Like, okay, I guess we qualify to not be completely ghetto. But, um... It doesn't matter how I got it. Point is, I had it. And, like, I was, like, the only person who would wear a Gucci backpack. And so, obviously, these peasants not having freaking Gucci backpacks and wearing their Jansports with all the holes and the stupid writing on it were like, oh, damn, he has a Gucci backpack, right? So, I was coming out of school one day and I was, you know, taking my usual route and stuff. You know, I was just walking, minding my own business, hearing my music. And I took the bus at the time because I still didn't have a license because uh, I wasn't legal, you know? So I was with all the other travelers in the bus right there posted up. And right from when I was at the bus stop, I noticed, I thought it was weird, Loki. I'm just like, I'm one of those people who likes to look around and like notice everything around me. And I felt like one of them had kept staring at me. And I was like, nah, I'm just tripping out. Like, I just feel too damn fly and saucy today that I'm trying to convince myself that this dude is staring at me. But he was indeed staring at me, right? And so we ended up getting inside of the bus, right? And we're in the bus and they chose to sit not that far from me. That's why this whole thing was sketchy because it's like, if you're going to do something to someone, plan it out and be smart. Don't make it obvious you know what i mean the idea is to lay low and like okay let's make sure he's not onto us they were like so obvious about it looking back now you know that they were literally just staring at me on the bus i was wearing a, a sweater with a chain and i had my gucci backpack on and the chain was another it was a really nice chain that i had gotten um gifted to me and it was new new at the time so it shined like crazy and um yeah that was my fit and Anyways, they were on the bus with me and they weren't that far, but they were facing this way. I was back there and they were literally like this the entire time. Like they weren't even trying to be slick. They were sitting on those side seats that are tilted and they were literally just staring at me. Like, like 
there was two of them. And um, they were just staring at me, like hardcore staring at me. And I was like, okay, this is weird. Either they're in love with me because I'm looking so damn phenomenal and they just don't want to tell me. Or they want to steal the backpack of the chain. And um, yeah, you know, it was either it was one of those two things. This is the only logical conclusion I could come to in the situation I found myself in. But um, <laughs> we ended up getting to our stop, and in my mind, I was like, "All right, let me let me let me throw them off. Let me throw them off my tracks, right? Let me take a quick detour, and maybe they'll get a life and find something better to do." And so I ended up going to Burger King, which is in the corner of the end of my block where I live. And I was like, I'm going to go buy a coffee, whatever, you know, I'm going to just play it cool, chilling, you know. So I go in there, I order my coffee, I, I waited a little while because I was like, maybe if I just post up, you know, I just stay in the safety location, they'll just dis disperse. And, you know, just mission failed. Okay, he went and he got some coffee, he's probably going to be in there. Well, you know, I don't think they even saw what I was ordering, honestly. They, you know, I could have been getting a burger. I could have gone in there for a Whopper. I could have wanted to sit down. Maybe I had to use the restroom because I live far. You know, point being, there, there, there was a lot of dedication. Their plan, uh, it was amateur, but they were dedicated. And so I actually ended up going out. I'm sorry, I didn't bring a water. No, I did bring a water. Give me a second, guys. All this, all this talk is, it's going to be dehydrated, man. Hey, you, you guys out there, don't forget to drink your water, okay? What? All right? Ah, ah, okay. That was exactly what I needed. Where was I before I was rudely interrupted? Burger King. Yes. Anywho, I got my coffee. I made my way out thinking that was it was clear. Now I was good to go. Little did I know there was one of them just posted up just watching. He was posted up in the corner. It was one of them now. The other one, he disappeared. He went home. His mom called him or something. And, um... Yeah, there was just one of them, and I started making my way home. It was literally a block of a distance, so it's a block, then my house, and that was it. And he's just following me, right? He's just following me. Like, it's pretty obvious at this point he's going to try to rob me right now. And so I'm speeding up. I don't know why I didn't call, like, anyone. I guess I was like, I can, like, get out of this on my own. I don't remember exactly where my mind was at at the time, but, like, looking back now, I should have called someone and been like, hey, man. There's this dude, man. He's acting real sus right now. I think I think he's in love with me. But, uh, yeah. No, I didn't call anybody. And I just kept going on my own. And I literally was inches away from my house. Right when I got to my gate. Right when I got to my gate. He, like, charged at me. And he was like, hey. He was like, what's in the backpack? And I was like, uh, nothing. And he was like. No, no, he asked me what was in the backpack, and I didn't hear what he said. And I was like, what? And he was like, what's in the backpack? Give me the chain. Some, some shit like that. Well, I don't remember exactly what he said, but basically he was asking for my backpack, my backpack and my chain. And I was like, no. And I was opening my gate at the same time. And he was like, give me your shit. And I was like, no, I don't want to. And then I opened my gate, bro, and I started walking in, and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I live here. That's what I'm doing. I'm going in my house. And I turned around and I closed my gate and I locked it. And he was like, all right, well, I'm going to get you next time, bro. Oh, my God. You could tell in that moment he felt like the stupidest person on planet Earth, bro. I kid you not. This is exactly how it happened, bro. Literally, that's exactly how it happened. He must have felt so whack. He was literally just interrogating me. This was his big time. This was his, his moment to prove himself to his friends. And he failed horribly. He must have felt so embarrassed. He was literally like, oh, give me your shit. And I'm just opening my gate, going inside my house slowly. Trying to, you know, I'm like, okay, as long as he doesn't run at me, I can get in my house right now. Fine. Bro, he must have felt so stupid. Like, like I caught him right in front of his house going in his gate. I mean, I don't know if that was like the whole entire point or something. Maybe he was too scared to do it. So he was like, if I wait till the very last minute, you know, it won't have to, it won't happen and I won't have to do it. And, uh, it's just so, it was the saddest thing I've ever seen. I was like, you guys call yourself a gang? I was like, it's, it's, I'm, I could have stole something from you better than than that. You waited for me to get home? Obviously, in the moment, I was freaked out. I was freaked out. I'm not even going to lie because I was like, damn, imagine I would have got stabbed. You know, I was, I was a youngster. I was a young cat. 
I was a young cat. You know what I mean? I didn't know. I didn't know. I was scared. And I went inside and I was like, holy Jesus. Imagine I would have got stabbed right now from my backpack and my chain. <laughs> do anything. I would like see the kid all the time. Literally all the time. And he would never even like look at me. It was the most like depressing thing in the whole world. You know, he was a gangster for a whole 10 minutes. I was like, man, that's that's <laughs> looking back now is pretty funny. You know, it's, looking back, I'm like, damn, what a loser. You know, and that was really oh, sorry, my camera moved. That was really his his moment of truth. And he fell completely, bro. It was funny, though. Honestly, it's funny because it made for a good story, you know, and then I, I went in and I was like, yo, mom, I almost got stabbed right now. And she was like, oh, by who? And I was like, some guy outside. And she told me the same thing. She was like, why didn't you call? And I was like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? No, nah, I should have called, though. It was pretty funny, man. It was pretty funny. Hey, hey, don't laugh at me, guy. Don't laugh at me, okay? It's not that funny, man. Uh, you're hurting my feelings. You need to stop. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed that, bro. If you did enjoy that, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, bro. Because we got videos coming in hot, bro. We got videos coming in hot right now. All right, you guys ain't ready for this content. All right. <laughs> Anyways, till next time, I love you. Peace.